Well, you've done so much. What's next? What's the next goal? What's on your mind these days? What are you thinking? I know you're you've opened in Murray Hill recently. You think about opening another location, but I mean, what's what's the future for you? Have you thought about maybe writing a book or what's going on? Here? The kitchen. What's happening? What's what's going on? What's the next step? I I would like to think that there are so many areas in the world of wine that I've not explored. E even though I'm a, I love Riesling and can certainly live the rest of my life only drinking Riesling. That that would be a very monochromatic lifestyle. So there's so many different things. I just got back from Australia, and New Zealand, and I'm super stoked by the Pinot Noirs from Otago, by the Rieslings from Otago, and by for a. Australia, holy smogolies, we know nothing about Australia. And I'm sure a lot of my mates out there would be stunned to hear me talk about that land and the wines and all of that, but there is stuff happening down there that we know yeah, nothing about. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, was, I closed my eyes, I was such astonishment when I was drinking the wine, I didn't even notice that stuff. But, you know, so many reasons, um, if grapes we all know and love, there's cool shit happening there, so I'd love to explore that more. But ultimately, what I do on a daily basis is try and pursue other ways to talk about wine, to have this conversation of wine. I want to be an advocate. I want to be an educator. If still today, such a small percentage of Americans drink wine, we all have a goal to get more people to drink wine. Yes, I think we've become the, the country that... Uh, we import the most amount of wine and we spend the most amount, whatever it is. But we need to increase the per capita consumption of grape juice. And I want to do, I want to be part of that uh, change in the American drinking dynamic. If, if the wine industry could change a couple things that you would think, boy, that really holds the whole cause back, what would those changes be? I mean, what would some of the changes you'd like to see, whether it be bottling format or pricing or where things are grown, how they're grown, how they're stored, how they're delivered, how they're sold. What are some of the things you're like, yeah, that's really, we could do so much better. Lordy, it's uh, a damning question, and I don't have a specific answer to that. I would say that all of us need to be better educators, because we've got to take people on this journey. And to be honest, I'm pretty excited about that, in that this younger crop of Psalms is coming up, who are maybe uh, better able to have this conversation or more interested in having this conversation. And then this generation of drinkers, this 21 to 30 year old set right now, as I understand it, their consumption of wine is increasing. It's the only one where we do see an increase. And because of technology, PDAs, they're more um, apt to have, to be willing to find out information about wine and, 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 and willing to explore different things. I think it's the, the next 30 years of wine in this country are going to be very, very exciting. We as an industry have to accept the fact that we're educators and we need to take people on journeys all the time. So that, that's sort of a hard thing to change, but I would maybe try and change that mindset. I think we as an industry have to be willing, and consumers too, have to be willing to accept alternative vessels for what our wines are delivered in, be it a cask, be it a box, be it a bag, be it whatever. I'm tired of these four, over 40 pound cases of grape juice arriving at my restaurant with the, the absolute waste that is going on. There's no reason why more wine cannot be served out of boxes, tetra packs, or casks. So I think Different vessels are a righteous movement for our industry. Well, Paul, I know you're really busy. I know you have a lot of restaurants to run to and to attend to, so I'm going to let you go. Really appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you for spending it with us in the audience. My pleasure. Thank you very much.